Hey guys, how you doing? Today I am back in the shop. I'm going to show you a part two from last week's video. Doug Matthews showed you guys how to change out the bag on your net here. Um, he did a great job of explaining how to install this bag. You know, if you tear your net and you need to change it, or if you've bought one of our combo kits and you just want to change out for the different depths, uh, he did a great job on how to install that bag, but we didn't show you how to actually take the block off of the hoop, and I've had a lot of questions about how to do that. Now, I want to clarify, we make these very hard to get off because of our, our, our quality. We want to make sure the tolerance is very tight on here and that there's no play or slop in it um, because that causes things to wear out, things to bend or break and uh, it's just not a good idea to have a bunch of slop uh, in, in a part where all the weight is distributed. So we make it extremely tight for that purpose. But with that being said, it's still very easy to get these off. We recommend using a little lubrication, uh, WD-40, PB Blast, silicone wrench, uh, or liquid wrench here. Any of these work very good. Uh, it takes a very small amount of this stuff. So put the loop upside down just like this and squirt one little squirt into each side. Make sure you have a rag handy because you don't want this stuff to go everywhere. Just wipe that down, but leave it upright for one second. Let that seat down into those holes. After you do that, you've got two Phillips screws here on the back side. You can use a drill or a screwdriver either way. Just take those off. And now what you're going to want to do is take that rag again and set right here on the hoop itself just to protect the, the coating of it. Uh, I don't recommend using a hammer for this. You can really uh, dent or score the hoop itself. So find a rubber mallet, hold this upside down by the handle itself. And I do recommend doing this over a table. You know, don't do it out here over the ground. Your net will go flying. So one, two, maybe three taps, and you'll get that hoop to pop off. Uh, you shouldn't have to bang on this thing real hard. With that lubrication, it'll come right off. After that, you're going to pop your bottom loop off and just start weaving this thing to one side. Again, jump back to last week's video and watch Doug install the new net for you. Besides that, um, after you get your new bag on, you can just put the two pipes right back into the hole and tap real easily down onto a table until you align those holes back up. And then I do recommend starting these screws by hand. Oops, starting these by hand. Uh, don't use the power drill to start those or you will uh, potentially um, screw up this thread. So put that back on there just like that. So now I'm going to show you guys the different size nets here um, for different style fishing, what size fish we recommend uh, putting into these nets. So first net we'll show you is our native net. This is a great small net for native brook trout or native cutthroat cutthroat trout. Um, if you're doing a lot of hiking or blue lining, this net is perfect for you. A uh, short handle, you've got 10 inches by 12 inches with about a 10 inch deep bag. This is perfect for small native trout uh, up to about 12 inches. So anything small, and uh, if you want just something small uh, and compact to carry, this is a perfect net for you. So the second net is this here trout net. This is a great run of the mill, your average everyday trout fishing, uh, perfect for wade fishing with. This is 12 inches by 16 inches with about a 12 inch deep bag. Now these bags do stretch, but we still only recommend putting about a 10 to 15 inch fish in this. Uh, we have put much larger fish in this, but it does get a little bit challenging to keep them in it, um, and it just doesn't work perfectly. Now all these handles are interchangeable. Um, these are great to pack away in a suitcase 
or to uh, break down, to hike with, uh, or just to change out different lengths. Uh, the next step up would be our lanky trout. So the lanky trout is the same size loop, 12 by 16, but we put a 20 inch deep bag on it and a 20 inch handle. Uh, all these handles do have measurements up the side. From one end to the other end of this block is 21 inches. With that being said, this is a perfect net from 16 to 22 inches. Uh, we don't recommend putting too much bigger fish in it because it is a small taper here. It still can be challenging to get anything too big into it. But it's nice for uh, if you're on a drift boat um, or you need a little extra reach. I personally use this size when I'm euro nymphing with an 11 foot rod and I need that extra reach to get out to the fish. Uh, we do offer a combo kit for these two nets. So you get one block and one loop, but you get two bags. So you get both the shallow bag and the deep bag. And then you get the short 10 inch handle and the 20 inch handle. Uh, your choice in patterns and your choice in the collar netting here. Um, so that is just your preference. The combo kits are great if you are changing, uh, if you want to change up your net a lot, if you're wade fishing some, if you're on a drift boat some. Uh, this way you don't have to buy two different nets. Uh, you can just change up your existing net. So the next size you would jump into if you're catching even bigger fish than that, this is our pig trout series. This is 17 by 22 inches and it's got a 12 inch bag on it. Now this size net is perfect for wade fishing. Uh, it's, it's got a shallow light bag and a short handle on it so it's manageable while you're wade fishing all day. Um, these can be changed up. All the handles do break down easily. Uh, this net is perfect for traveling to those uh, lifetime destination spots like Patagonia or Alaska. Uh, these do fit in a suitcase perfectly um, just because of these handles that break off. Uh, this here is, is a great net for big brown trout, you know, uh, 20 to 24 inches. I wouldn't put anything much deeper or bigger into that because of the depth of this bag, but it's just a great size for those bigger trout. If you're catching even bigger trout than that or bigger fish in general, you would jump up to our big pig net. Now we recommend uh, you can use this for just about any style of fishing. We have 13 different fish patterns to choose from. Uh, carp, bass, salmon, steelhead. This is the size net for you. 24 to 30 inches uh, plus you can fit into this bag. Now it's the same loop size as the pig trout, but we have a 30 inch deep bag on this thing. Um, you can go up to a 30 inch handle as well if you need that extra reach from a boat or if you are a guide uh, and you just need that extra reach for your clients. Uh, with that being said, guides are loving this net model for that extra reach and that bag. Uh, they can ensure that the fish isn't going to be jumping out or flopping out. And then uh, obviously with the camera mount feature, guides are loving this for their clients to get pictures and videos all day for their clients. Their camera is always ready. Again, we offer a combo kit between the two of these. You get two bags, the deep bag, the shallow bag, the short handle, the deeper hand, the short handle, and the longer handle. Now, I hope I answered your guys' questions today on what style uh, net to use with the style fishing you're doing, you know, what size fish you can fit in these things, and then how to actually get the hoop off of the block itself. Um, if you guys have any more questions, feel free to send me an email or a message on social media. If uh, this video helped you today, leave a comment and a like on this video. We appreciate that. And make sure you hit subscribe and hit the notification bell. Uh, we have a lot more videos coming at you this year. Uh, some destination videos, some how-to videos, different tips and tricks, uh, different cameras and all the tech side of things on how to use the nets. Um, so make sure you subscribe. Uh, we've got a lot of things planned for you this year. Uh, we, we really appreciate your guys' support. So uh, stay in contact with you. We've got some new videos coming at you next week. Thanks, guys. Tight lines.